Judith Newman and I'm a teenage volunteer at the Kingwood Library and I'm here to review the book Witchfire by James Clemens. It's about this girl, Elena, she's around 13, 14 and she discovers she has witch's powers and she's the first one in 500 years to gain them. And she's trying to, I guess, fight the evil that's taken over the land. And um, the reason I like it is later in the series, especially, they have twists that I've never seen in a book. Like, I was not expecting it at all. After the hundreds of books I've read, you'd think I'd be able to at least tell the telltale signs of it. But I haven't, so that's what I really love about this book. Hi, I'm Ellen DeLapp. I'm a patron at the Kingwood Library. The book that I chose to share with you is It's All Too Much by Peter Walsh. As you know, Peter is an industry leader for the organizing industry. What I love about this book is it gives you a plan. It starts off with what the clutter problem is, then to solving the clutter problem, and finding maintenance for you. What's especially valuable about it is it helps you really assess what's going on, so it can really be personalized for what your system is. So I hope you read it and enjoy it. Thanks. Hello, I'm Jim Johnson. I'm assistant branch manager here at the Kingwood Branch Library. And uh, I've been reading a lot lately, but one in particular that stuck out that I really enjoy is kind of a quick read uh, and a fun read, too, uh, and an educational read beyond all of those things, uh, was Vanished Smile by R.A. Scotti, or Scotty, I'm not sure how you pronounce your last name, it's S-C-O-T-T-I. Uh, this book is about uh, once been considered one of the crimes of the century. In fact, Time.com recently listed in a special little photo essay uh, among the crimes of the century, of the last uh, century. Um, on uh, August 21st, 1911, uh, the Mona Lisa, the well-known painting throughout the world, uh, uh, painted by Leonardo da Vinci, disappeared from the wall. Uh, and for quite a long time, it was not known where this painting had disappeared to. Many were considered suspects, among them uh, the other well-known artist in the 20th century, Pablo Picasso. Uh, and one of his um, um, fellow artists uh, as well. I uh, won't give away who was finally pinned for the crime, uh, but uh, would rec strongly recommend reading this book, especially if uh, you've had a chance to see the Mona Lisa yourself. Uh, and uh, the crime itself also uh, was responsible for um, broadening its appeal and popularity as well. Uh, it's a very famous image and all of us recognize it immediately. And, if you know anything or know nothing at all about the Mona Lisa, um, man, maybe enjoy a good true crime story that doesn't involve a murder, uh, you might enjoy this book. Again, it's The Vanished Smile by R.A. Scotty. Hi, I'm Miss Connie and I have got a perfect book for you. And it's all about Jimmy, who was an orphan boy who had a wonderful job. He got the best food, he had fantastic clothes, and to his mind, even better, he got to go to school with the best teachers in the whole country. And there really wasn't very much work involved. There was one big problem with this job. He was the whipping boy. And unfortunately, the prince who he was the whipping boy for, I'm afraid he was pretty naughty. So the, the cry frequently went up. Fetch the whipping boy! And he would have to take Prince Brat's whipping. And unfortunately, Prince Brat was so bad, that's what everyone called him, even the king. Well, one day, after one whipping, just one whipping too many, Jimmy decided enough was enough. He was going to go back to his old slum. So to escape the palace, he goes down into the bowels and he starts out the sewer pipe down to the drain. And who should be following him but Prince Brat? And he can't get rid of him. So off they go on to a great adventure. And I think both boys learned an awful lot. Your parents will like it because it's an award winner. Ignore that. It is a really fun book.